Understanding Demand Assurance, a guide to English phrases. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the English language to explore a fascinating phrase, demand assurance. Whether you're an English learner or just curious about language nuances, this video will help you understand and use this phrase effectively. So, let's get started. First, let's break down the phrase into its two key components, demand and assurance. Demand. This word can function as both a noun and a verb. As a noun, it refers to a strong request or requirement for something. As a verb, it means to strongly request or require something. Assurance. Assurance usually means a promise or a statement that gives confidence. It's about providing certainty or security about something. When we combine these two words, demand assurance often refers to the act of strongly requesting or requiring a guarantee or certainty about something. Now, let's look at how demand assurance is used in different contexts. One, in business, here, it might mean insisting on guarantees or certainty in deals or agreements. For example, the investors demanded assurance that the company was financially stable. Two, in personal relationships, it could refer to needing certainty or security from a partner or friend. For example, she demanded assurance that he would support her decision. Three, in politics or diplomacy, it often involves seeking guarantees or promises from other countries or parties. For example, the government demanded assurance of non-interference in their internal affairs. It's important to avoid common mistakes when using this phrase. Don't confuse with, ensure, remember, demand assurance is about asking for guarantees, not providing them. Context matters, always consider the context in which you use it. The tone can come across as assertive or confrontational in certain situations. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of the phrase, demand assurance. Remember, language is a powerful tool, and understanding nuances like this can greatly enhance your communication skills. Thank you for watching, and keep exploring the wonderful world of English.